Good evening, everybody. It's February 25th, 2017. My name's Muff. I'm here with Mighty, and this is Squad Ops. Welcome, welcome. Uh, to, to, yeah, tonight we're going to be running Operation Nightmare. Uh, it's going to be on Logar Night. It's an insurgency variation. Uh, it's created by Hammering Hutch, uh, and he actually is going to be playing in this tonight as well. Uh, it pits the U.S. against the insurgents. Uh, as you can see, I am hovering over the insurgent forces here. Uh, they're going to be led by Alexo tonight. And uh, I'm actually going to go over kind of the objective of Operation Nightmare. First of all, on my map, you can see the two cache locations. It starts with the insurgents choosing one cache location that is west of the, of the Foxtrot. What is it? The Echo Foxtrot line. Yeah. Echo Foxtrot. So actually, both caches are to the west of Echo Foxtrot in this uh, this time. So they picked one. Uh, they have to defend it. They place a fob right on it, basically right next to it. And uh, they can all spawn there. They get their kits set up. Uh, we'll go over the kits in a second. And then they, they deem themselves a high-value uh, target, which is the commander. It's their commander, which is Alexo. Uh, and... There's there's a little kicker over there uh, that Alexo is the only insurgent soldier that gets the G3 as a weapon. Uh, so that makes means if he fires, he's going to stand out, and they're going to hear him. So uh, it's you know makes you wonder whether you should fire or not. Um. Uh, as for anything else, he has to stay in the grid square. So looking at my map again, you can see that the fob is placed in Delta 8, that whole grid square right there. He's got to stay within. So he can run around all over in there. doesn't matter where he goes, but he can't leave it. He's a high-value target. That's his home location. His, uh, the rest of his forces are going to protect him, and he gets to set him up as he sees fit to do so. Um, with that, the U.S. forces are going to be coming, trying to take him out and get out. Uh, I'm going to send it over to Mighty, and he's actually going to tell you what's going on with the U.S. forces. Yeah, so um, uh, you want to go over the rosters real quick, because we can do that right now. Um, the U.S. command is Xbit, and his squad leads are going to be Dr. Kamikaze, Shadowed Ritual, Hammering Hutch, the man himself, and Kirkley. Uh, basically, what the U.S. forces are going to try to do here is get that uh, get that uh, HVT, that uh, commander, uh, and or the cash, and get back to the Xville, um, which is actually marked to the fob marker. Um, you know, they, they were going over the platoon brief um, a little bit ago. Um, Xbit's kind of being a little bit wary of the DCs, the central town area, since that's usually where insurgents will have more of an advantage um, since the U.S. forces have those red dots and they're usually a little bit better at uh, at range. So I think he's wanting to work to his advantages, but um, you know, with the base on the cash locations, um, I think he's going to have a tough time with it, but that's the overall strategy here. Uh, yeah, yeah. The insurgents are lucky that they get two cash locations west of the Echo Fox trot line. Sometimes they only get one. Yeah. Uh, so it that gives them that extra advantage just just because they're going to have to check both locations the United States forces will. So that's good for them. Good for Alexo as that command. Uh, you know, his squad leaders, uh, he's actually only got three squads running, and the rest are in his command squad. Uh, his squad leaders are Nasty Nate, Best Pony, and Lish. Uh, he's got a backup, Krusty the Sailor, if need be. And they're getting set up. Uh, as for their kits for the insurgent forces, each squad is going to get two ARs, one raider, one scout, and one medic. Uh, they'll also be able to put down two dishkas to, to protect their pop. Okay. Yeah, U.S. gets, on that same note, U.S. side gets two ARs, one GL, and one medic per squad. And they're also kitted out with uh, two open top Humvees and one transport, and that's per team. Um, and and I can tell you from experience that transport truck is uh, pretty useful when the U.S. has to go back to their exfil point um, 
because the way that this one works is when the INS command gets killed, um, the U.S. forces, unless they confirm that kill on, on site, uh, U.S. forces actually won't know that the INS command has been killed until two minutes after the actual kill. So insurgents usually get a little bit of a head start. Um, and that transport truck is usually very useful in getting back to the exfil ahead of the insurgents. Yeah, and, and when that uh, INS command goes down, that HVT, he'll actually announce two minutes after he's right. dead, he'll announce that he's down. And that's when the U.S. will start to fall back or leave. Uh, that's assuming they haven't already destroyed the cache or that fob. Right. And we're live. We're actually Here we just, go. just went live. So good timing. Um, as you can see, uh, the, you might not be able to see it on your side. The uh, the cache and fob are located in Delta 8, and it's actually in keypad 5. So that's got where Alexo is going to be hanging out. So far, he's got two squads going east, a little northeast and southeast. Getting a good spread go, going into to DC, just like Expert was weary of. And yep. uh, Best Pony's taking his squad into the South Hills. Yeah, Expert is is trying to get eyes on both uh, both um, potential cash locations and then adjust, um, which I like. His trans is heading out front with those Humvees. Uh, wrapping around north. Uh, it was one Humvee north, one Humvee south. Um, so it looks like he's just trying to get a feel for for where um, the caches are going to be. Since, like you said, actually both of these cache locations are in play. Uh, sometimes that's not the case. Yeah, it looks like the insurgents are just spreading out real nice right now. Uh, one, one squad, or Alexo's squad, Back with the command unit. They're just hanging out in the building. Or I guess in the compound. Uh, there's a few of them here. They're all in one. Kind of grouped together. Still probably going over some briefing tactics. Let's see, he sees some local chat. Oh yeah, they're fortifying this little compound. Sandbags being placed. Command 3 West at orbit here, I think. Not, not too bad. It's a door. So U.S. Got the logic truck coming down. Sorry. U.S. Yeah, no, that's fine. U.S. has dropped off um, all of their the the entire squad that was in that trans truck uh, up north near the northernmost uh, insurgent resupply, and they're actually rolling the trans back. And I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do with it. Um, if they're going to leave it back at base and not try to, ha you know, it may be a liability to them. Um, but like I said, it is useful for the exfil portion of this op. Um, but right now it's hanging out at base. And uh, the rest of the people in the trans have dismounted and they're spreading out north. That's interesting. Let's see what they do with it in the future. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention was that the insurgent forces can scrounge for any and all vehicles that they find on the map. So uh, you can see uh, a Lodgy running around on this insurgent side already, uh, running supplies, and he can run as much as he can uh, until he's taken out. Uh, I see they've got another techie heading up northwest. They're rallying up as many vehicles as they can, getting those SPG techies coming in. You look down, you can see Tactical Brit, Satan, and Odessa all grabbing those two SPGs. Here they come. Those SPGs are going to be deadly, man. Yeah, they're going to be real key against the uh, the Humvees. So it's good that they're getting those. Yeah, it's one of the the only apps where one side is going to get those Humvees or mechanized units, and actually the other side doesn't get. They get a Raider kit, but they don't get any lat kits. So the 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 AT capability is pretty limited for INS unless they get those SPGs up and rolling. Yeah, and they can scrounge those techies and place a couple so, dishkas. So there's all the all the opportunity is there. It's just whether they take, choose to take it or not. And sometimes Hutch? they might uh, spawn in bad positions to to go and yeah. rally up vehicles. This is true. Hutch is starting to move his squad um, down into district center. Um, he's probably 300 meters. I'm 
um, just eyeballing two to three, 300 meters probably from Luzario and Lish and um, that forward group. So they're they're doing a good job of, of – U.S. is doing a good job of not sitting still, and they're closing in quickly here. Yeah, and it appears that the insurgents have just laid down, you know, dropped anchor and hanging out, waiting for the U.S. They're probably going to react to – to the first sighting of them. I'm behind uh, CG Fu, Lish, Fanta, Fox Mulder, and Luzario. Pretty quiet, but they're, uh, they're looking around. I think that uh, they uh, Xbit and his uh, SLS have sniffed out that there's probably not... A cache here. I think they would have expected to see a lot more resistance here. So they're sniffing out that the the uh, cache is actually south, um, and they're starting to sweep down into DC from here. Delta five, just in that grid. Okay, I just heard Best Pony in Squad Two. He's way on the south side, but he has visual north. Not sure who he sees yet. He's looking. It looks. He's looking at that big squad element up north. They're all on foot, spread out. A lot of them up there. Yeah, there is the entire U.S. platoon is up north here. So they're gonna make this big push from the looks like the north, north side of the cache. On dig the top, this top. Set. The insurgents know they're there, so that shouldn't be too bad for uh, for sneaking in there. Nasty Nate's got his squad up on the is it, up in Charlie and Delta Five area, top of the hill. On my way. Hopefully this one doesn't violently explode for no apparent reason. We're on tactical Brit up there. He's he's kind of running back right now. Dr. Kamikaze just called the contacts. Looks like that's Nasty Nate's group. Um, just called those contacts on top of the hill. And they see, he's reporting a squad size element, which is pretty accurate. Yep, that's, that's a big catch. That's a big catch right there. Because that is a great ambush point if they push you to DC and all of a sudden they get pinched. That's a good spot. Yeah. You can see Dr. Kamikaze's squad is held up. Yep, they're just scouting it out right now. Pretty quiet still. They yeah, see this, each is other. The, this is the this is the the probing phase of the ops usually. Yeah, you, you gotta find out how far your enemy's willing to push out towards you. It goes from zero to a hundred pretty pretty quick. So. Yeah, this can turn into a real, just a waiting game, a patience game, almost just discipline, staying focused through the long, boring part in the beginning. It's also the night map, and sometimes that gets especially um, dreary, and some people can definitely lose focus. Yeah, I've actually turned my gamma up just a little bit to help make it a little clearer. Yeah. Say again, Pony. Yeah, I see Nate squad still in the hills, even though they've been sighted. I don't think they've seen Dr. Kamikaze yet. Out. They're looking east towards. Yeah, it looks like Hutch's squad and, and the other squad well, to his east. Shadowed Ritual Squad. That's it. Whatever vehicles you can you can get up there, Nate. Resistance for one and two and three on that hill. Copy that. Right so it looks like the, but all the Humvees are starting to to slide up to uh, support this push down through DC. There's one Humvee up I heard already, and there's another one moving up. Go ahead. I heard Alexo uh, 
tell Nasty Nate he can get as many vehicles up there as he wants, and I think they're bringing one more techie, maybe another SPG that way too. Bunny, Wook, Saloon, they're all getting pretty close to this northern element here in D.C. They're doing a good job yeah. of staying inside the buildings and moving quickly and not getting spotted, though, I think. I mean, I'm sure that there's they've had an idea that they're there, but uh, they're not staying on the album for very long. This is whole squad's looking north. That's a spawn point for it, correct? Foxtrot 4, yeah, A farm spot 4. Foxtrot 4 hill, uh, possible full squad spotted on that. It's only about 100, 150 meters between. Oh, there's Zario the first salvo. Looks like Dr. Dr. Kamikaze's squad starting to light up on Nasty Nate up on the hill. It's an accurate fire. I don't think any kills yet, but very accurate fire. Hebrew is returning here. Returning some fire. One Humvees are moving to start your fire. They've got a technical behind the rocks, but they're not. No one's in it. No one's mounting yeah. gun. I don't know what's going on there. It's been sitting there for a while. Nasty Nate's throwing some right, lead back. Like yeah, they're trading some fire here. Both accurate fire. Really good shots. Good on yeah, suppressing. We don't see Nothing else. Five, ten minutes, I'll probably pull my, uh, alpha fire Nate pulled his binocs out. He's trying to get a better look. Got his gun back out. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, just let me know what the contact So they confirmed, again, they just con double, like, extra confirmed. No cash, no cash north, no cash north. So they are moving south now. They're sitting on that technical, but they're, you know, I'm trying to get a good look here, see if I can see anything. There's... <laughs> they got a got a rough position. They're pretty rough position. I don't think. Yeah, they're, they're not that spread anything. out. There he goes. He's moving it a little bit now. He's pulling right out into the road. Bunny Hutch are about to run right into Dentrick over here. He's already shooting with the dish canal out of the back of that techie. Dentrick has no oh, idea. Oh, goes down. Dentrick gets killed. Their 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 scout uh, that was towards the south. That would be Nasty Nate's scout. Dentrick gets killed. Hutch takes him down. Um, and they're starting to surround these guys on the northern hill here. So they're gonna Dr. need some help. Kazi squad is really getting lit up by that technical right now. Yeah, Kilo they're, is they're a bit stuck. Bullets. Oh, Kilo goes down. Who's he shooting at now? Oh, I love this. Oh, this oh, is he's just... shooting up at Cool Breeze. This is a storm of U.S. forces shoving these guys off this hill. They are not stopping either. Looks like Hutch and Jack Nate went down are about as well. to go ahead. Ed. Oh, we're getting some casualties. Hutch and Nate are about to meet. Cool Breeze and Kauai and Lat King Ben are the only three left on that hill. This is so well organized by the U.S. side. Here they come up the hill. Nasty Nate's squad is not ready for what's about to hit him, I don't No, this is beautiful by the U.S. Yeah, they got misses a couple shots. Lil' Jin and Nate trade. Google Trex has been spotted. Hey, Humvees, you gotta hold your fire, or raise your fire. You're almost in mess. The Humvees rolling right into the entire team! Right. Oh, Hutch gets one, gets the gunner. Them in like the seven rolls. Hutch gets killed, though. Oh, the gunner jumped out, actually. The gunner's alive. Oh, the gunner's alive. You yeah, are right. Yeah, yeah, but that's Dal, that's Dal Nando Torres. That's my mistake. Faku's driving it. 
Some good trades actually by INS. I think that's yeah, actually good going job well. Good by INS there. Yes. It was I can't looking... believe that technical is still alive. I know. It was looking really bad, but they're actually trading off a lot of their kills, which is good. It's going to serve them well because they're on the defense, especially since they're in some buildings. Uh, the trades are going to come uh, in be in their favor for sure. This Humvee, or this, this technical oh, is doing them... work. U.S. soldiers got to fire some GLs. That'll take down that technical really quick. Oh, there this it was. technical! There it was right there as soon as I said it. Puga gets dropped, but the techie does get neutralized. It's still up, uh, but the driver yeah, gunner but are they're both down. Dead. Driver and gunner are down. Hammer and Hebrew is going for it. He's the last one over here. I respect the hustle. They got a couple kills in that techie, too, so all in all, might have been worth. Yeah, they did. Good job. Good job, insurgents, holding there. Hammer and Hebrew is about the only one left. He's heading for the techie. You know, he's going to just grab it and head back to regroup. That's a great idea. He's saying, see you later, guys. <laughs> At least he's trying to. There he goes. Oh, the, is he going to get away, though? They're, yeah, they're going to be close. He's going to try. Jimmy's checking, but he's gone. He's got to get out of there. There you go, Hebrew. Yeah. Oh, he's taking shots. Oh, boy. You know what? He's got away. He's getting away. This is actually going to be pretty precarious for the U.S. because they're actually in between the heavily fortified insurgent team and the insurgent technicals are all over here. And if those things roll up behind you, it will take you out. This is really well played by insurgents. I'm gonna get back and get a big look for you guys. Reporting it. Go ahead and follow in with Squad Three. There to your direct what? Uh, yeah, west. Or correction, east. Yeah, so there's there's a squad element in the south pull, side uh, now that's almost pull, uh, ineffective. They are actually pulling back already. I can hear Alexo telling them to pull back too, so their best pony's probably going to bring his whole squad back towards Alexo over here. They'll get there just in the nick of time. They've cut that entire army north. Tactical Brit and Hammer Hebrew are getting their uh, techies up to uh, Alexo back at the Alamo location, it looks like. You know, INS, actually, I actually think INS is in a much better position since they did such a good job trading those kills off. U.S. now has to make the move, and I think they're positioned pretty well to hold it off. Yeah, they got the read, though, they got the read on though, it. Uh, the insurgents have seven kills, and U.S. Army only has four. Uh, that can be inaccurate at times because sometimes people don't give up. Uh, we always ask that they do, but a lot of times they don't. So it's yeah, it's looks like insurgents are favored in numbers at least. Yeah, U.S. Army still has both uh, Humvees though, and uh, obviously GLs are working on their favor now. Hopefully they didn't lose too many in their, with their losses. Are we? You're not coming with me. Uh, techies are friendly. Please don't light the techie up. Yep. So we have a full squad standoff across a road. And they're they're scoping each other out now. And it's Lish's squad. Lish, Biz, Shadow. They're all in this compound. Yeah, so directly I think... across the road from a bunch of U.S. players. Looks like the U.S. soldiers have a little bit of advantage over them right now. They've only got one guy, and that's Burns, that's outside of that little building compound right there. They're doing a really good job of maneuvering, constantly maneuvering and not getting bogged down, though. I like it from the squad leads and from the command. I can see Hammered Hebrew taking shots at his technical. 
Uh, it looks like Shadow Ritual squad. Benbot's rushing up the hill towards him. At the same time, time, Lish's squad is about to engage. Oh, Benbot is rushing Hebrew right now. Hammered Hebrew bailed. Said, see you later. Oh, it's a good time to bail. Tactical Brit's going to get engaged by Benbot shortly. Brit and ben somehow survives. Shots. Yeah, and ben yeah, he's booking the shots. Him. Tactical Brit took off. He said, "See ya." <laughs> he's out of there. Probably about to bleed out. He is gone. He's just—he's taking off into the North Forty somewhere, not even caring. He's about to he's run, gonna run into. into he's gonna run into <laughs> Saloon Number Twelve and Bunny Squad. And Man, he is just leaving there. one engagement. He's leaving one engagement and finding another one over there. Yeah, he's, he's all in on a his rough own. spot. I'm buzz back down and see how Lish's squad's doing. Actually, Lish is down. Enemies moving in north and northeast. We have two FJG Shadow JG in the compound. Biz is in there, and Burns is still on the southern side. He hasn't moved. Shadow Ritual Squad is pushing in. They know there's somebody in there. They don't know how many. It doesn't look like. They're being very cautious. I like this. This is we're gonna test how good their clearing skills are. They're gonna use those sandbags. Biz is gonna. Biz sees Ben bot. They trade shots. Nothing bad. Oh, Burns got hit. Burns is healing or bandaging. I don't think I can make it in there unless there's an west side. Enemies are still north and northwest. You can see it. You can see Shadow and Shadowed Ritual just opposite of each other. There's only this one door. And Biz is over there under the stairway, leaning out. D7 key. These insurgents are surrounded. Burns goes down to a grenade from Bursang or somebody. I don't know who threw it. We need to it's just, clear this. Uh, it's just okay. Biz and Shadow. Benbot's pushing in. Uh, enemy, enemy contacts down to the northwest. Biz suppresses him out of there. Looks like Benbot did get hit, and he is bandaging. Oh! Shadowed Ritual goes down to Biz. Good job by Biz holding the line there. He's reloading. Played that well. Oh, and friendly show up. Fanta and Fox Mulder coming in. They drop one. Keel Randor is down now. This is a great little compound hold from the, from the insurgents. They're, they're taking out a lot of the U.S. force. And they're bogging yeah, them down, too. They're yeah, slowing them down. Yeah, just got traded with, too, by Keel Randor, I think. So it's just Shadow in the compound. But he's got backup. Yeah, three. Pull your no northernmost guys back. We got Foo Fanta and Fox Mulder. Just south of them. Shadow in the compound. Uh, they held off Shadowed Ritual Squad for now. There's two, four, five enemies still looming. Oh, there's an engagement over here. Bunny, Wook, Mike Jones all opening up on Best Pony Squad over here. No casualties. Oh, yeah, we are getting... Multiple engagements spread across the map right now. Boy, these Humvees are about to tear them up. There goes a tag on a Silas. He's still up. Silas is crawling. Trying to get out of there. He's staying down, though. In the meantime, Best Pony and Denied Fist pushing up through the fields. They're going to walk yeah. up on it. The entire fire team up here. Oh, if Best Pony looks down, he'll see him. How does he not see him? Come on, best pony. Turtle guy and Jimmy walking around this compound. They're gonna have to he's clear got though. His binocs out. <laughs> yeah, he's got his binox out and he's looking. He's looking at the Humvees though. He's he doesn't see the guys to his direct west. Ah, he does now. He just got shot at. This is good suppression here. Turtle guy and Jimmy are pushing up under the suppression. I like this move. They're moving. Oh, this there is goes beautiful. There's a grenade from best pony. Oh, beautiful shot. Jimmy oh, gets one. Jimmy gets Jimmy another one. Both. Good shot by Big Jimmy. Great work. He's got Boy. Oscar Juliet in his sights next. The whole fire team played that perfectly. There was covering fire, laid down. Jimmy and Turtle flanked, got the couple of kills. That was great. I'm not sure if they saw Oscar Dude, Juliet there. there. He shot at him. He did shoot at him after that engagement. So I think they're aware that there's someone else over there. Vicinity of Bravo. 
you know, the, it appears that the rest of the insurgent forces have taken to fall back or been killed. Two FJG Shadow JG is still in the compound. He is trapped. He has nowhere to go. Oh, nice nade from Oscar Juliet. Wook actually got killed by that grenade. That was a great throw. Oh, this is just a one-man Alamo team right here. Benbot's going to go in see if he can't get the last guy. He's slicing the pie, cutting the corner. Oh, down he goes. Sounds like a PPSH right there. Let's see if I can't uh, see what it is. It sure is. That's what he's got. A firm, take him out or pull back. That's great. <laughs> SOG smoke poke spot. Sitting out there. He's afraid. He doesn't want to go in. I don't blame him. I wouldn't. U.S. forces looking around the outside. Trying to find a, a vantage point other than that doorway to go into. Clear up the compound. Let's get everybody get up on the line. We're gonna yep. get into the when they come in, they're going to be faced with Shadow looking through a window. Good grenade. Boy, Oscar Julia is doing a great job of bogging this entire element from the U.S. side down. Tactical Brits actually behind them all. But this whole northern element is getting... They're finally rolling out. He's bogged them all down. What did Kawhi just throw? He threw a nade in there. Saloon gets killed by Oscar. Oh, there's Kawhi peeking. He gets Kawhi. Shadow JG's just got this this compound on lockdown right now. No one's going to get in that door as long as he's peeking that window. Oh, Oscar Julia is controlling this whole this whole nor this whole element over here. This is going to get controlled by Oscar Julia. He's doing such a good job. He finally goes down to the Humvee. That just leaves Tactical Bread, who's actually behind the, all the U.S. forces. I'm really confused. He's a lone man, though. What was that? There's quite a, a large, like, I'd say probably two Humvees, a Humvee, and... Is there anywhere you guys want uh, three moving? Three, just stick with the Humvees for now. Yeah. Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot going on now. They've bailed on Shadow JG in and his compound. At least one it's like the U.S. is regrouping, getting ready to make another push at this... Eight. Final Alamo of the insurgent forces. Bravo eight. Alexo's taken to laying down in one of the buildings Same in his little one. compound. He's got a dish gear or two surrounding him. He knows the enemies are close, so he doesn't want to expose himself oh, and potentially uh, speed up this game. Light it up. All right. Dishkas have spotted. It looks like the remainder of Shadowed Rituals spot. And they actually took one down. Oh, Xpit's up there. That's Command up there, too. So much fire over there. Oh, yeah. Two Dishkas lighting them up. They're going to they're gonna get down. They're all prone. Oh, the Humvees are rolling in, though. The Humvees are rolling in. Right into the middle of the insurgent forces here. Hammered Hebrew just called out the Humvees. Krusty goes in with 118 aid. Oh, it's on fire. He what hit a hit! Second. Lovely Way to by go, Krusty. Krusty the Sailor. Beautiful. We got a burning Humvee driving in. This is crazy. It's a fireball. I think the Humvee, yep, they drove right by. Had to get out. I, when those things get on fire, it actually damages the driver and hurts them. That's X bit. That's command. Taking fire from three different insurgent soldiers. He's still up. How close is Silas to X bit right now? Oh, he's right above him. 
He, Boy. He's got to creep a little forward. Damon the Rapper's going to get him, though, if he doesn't push. Oh, x goes down. That's command down. This defense has been really, really good for my NS. That was a good job by x but keeping his guys going nice and slow, but still aggressive. And they've still got both Humvees. I think they've actually, they're getting some shots off with the, uh, the Humvee towards the compound that Alexa's in. There's not a lot of squad lead comes. Everyone's been pretty chewed up. Let's see if there's anyone alive. Yep. See if you could tap that gunner out. Oh, the other Humvee's coming in. CG Fu just called that one Humvee and the other one just showed up. Humvees get crusty. Looks like Kahuna jumped in the gunner seat now. Oh, Alexo! Oh, he dropped Alexo. That's commanded That's down. That's huge. So in two minutes, he's going to announce that he's down, and then you and then US can exfil. And they will officially be on the defensive, which will give them an advantage. What uh, a great shot. Yeah, that was Kahuna in the Humvee, just, just slinging lead towards that compound. Alexo crossed at the wrong time and got dropped. That's huge because the INS had such a tight defense here. The U.S. are going to have a really hard time cracking it. So it's pretty big that he was able to pick that kill up. Yeah, yep. the one kill he got, and it was the big one there. So it's already so been that, 30 seconds. Yeah, we're almost 39:30 was when that kill happened. So yep. Right, we got fire coming from the east. I don't Here think that. Uh, I don't think that the insurgents know that their leaders died yet. They're, yeah, they're they not moving not. at all yet. And and you know he's dead, so he can't like announce to his team that he's dead. They just have to notice, or they'll see the broadcast in one minute. Uh, just the same. Sh Sergeant Shadow Wolf says, why, Alexa, why? That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, I don't know. He just chose to cross at the wrong time. He, he could have felt pressure there. There was Humvee gunners shooting at him. You know, two. There's two Humvees down there. and It could have been threatening. He was trying to get to the other side for maybe a little more cover. And they just snuck a right, bullet in there. Yeah, there was two Humvees and an AR all aimed at that building. So... I don't blame him for getting antsy, I guess. Right. Just right, picked the wrong time to do it. You're exactly right. We're just going to keep holding this combat. I heard Hammered Hebrew ask who was a squad leader originally and said they're just going to hold the compound. You well, know, in 10 should... seconds, they're going to be moving. Yep. Because exactly. Alexo's going to announce his death here. And this is all on U.S. How fast can the U.S. get out? Because if they can get to that that point it, it becomes very difficult for to crack the uh excel wide open because there's a big open road and fields like are entirely in front of that excel point there's the announcement Sturgic, there it is us extract to juliet five keypad nine this is where things get even more interesting moving. and already immediately the insurgents know they got to move uh, they know that the I can see puppy kill, puppy skills, buckshot, tear gun, all moving. Fox Mulder goes down. They're shooting through the murder hole. Just like that, it's turned around, and now the U.S. are almost fleeing, trying to get back to Juliet 5, keypad 9. It's beautiful. Although this Humvee is kind of sitting here, and I feel like it might need to be moving. Uh, one well, Humvee's yeah, gone back to pick up. Uh, pick up members, but this one's just sitting here. Uh, the awareness may not be entirely there. Um, the faster that they can get to that exo point, the better you're off you're going to be. And this Humvee has four extra spaces in it that can be very oh, valuable. Oh, Kahuna takes down a tear gun. Tear gun was the so, medic. He he's bogging him down from leaving, though, which is a good... He's doing well at that. Yep, puppy skills just said to fall back with the buckshot. They know they're there. Kahuna. 
Yep, Kahuna says, nope, he's taking shots. He's getting out of there. He's jumped in the driver's seat. This Humvee's taking off. Let's see where it goes. You'd think he would try to get his uh, friends there, T Truth Realm and the Lat King. Yeah, they're a little bit stuck there. I wonder if they're the sacrifices because th he they just... are. <laughs> yeah, he just took <laughs> off. And... Oh, now he's turning around. He's coming there back. There you go. This is the actually, and I think this is the Humvee that has two hits on it. Uh, correct it me if I'm wrong. I believe, but I believe it's got at least. This could get pretty interesting here. At least the one. It was on fire, so it's been hurt. Puppy skills and uh, Lat King Ben are about right, to. Their guns are about to touch around this corner. Were you a fire team? Yeah, I'm dead. Negative, but someone told me. Oh, Lat King Ben pushing out. Down goes Puppy Skills. All right, Buckshot takes down Lat King Ben, and uh, Buckshot got hit. He's bandaging. It looks like it appears Truth Realm didn't hear him bandage, so Buckshot's got his gun back out. Mighty's gonna this, kill the Phil. Yes, this U.S. group had just passed a techie. Is a techie? Hot on their heels, though. He this techie could destroy all of them here. All it right, is we're wide open. Here. Everyone's Mighty. out of the Humvee. Yep, yeah, we're done. Uh, Buckshot one tap the Humvee gunner, and then he traded with the Lightning so I'm coming up to see. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just good in job. Time to see a big boom. Everyone's alive. Everyone's X, X filled, or everyone's uh, out of the Humvee. It's a good job right there to recognize what was happening. And they are currently uh, way ahead of anyone. Uh, oh, yeah. Way ahead. Towards up there. this X fill. Yeah. They did a good job getting out of there. So, you know, they're going to be in a good in fact, position. The remaining here to insurgents hold out. are all pretty much grouped together, uh, pushing their way, making their way, uh, being led by Hammered Hebrew. He's, he's taking the role of leadership right now. Uh, since there's not much left for them, there's only <laughs> six of them: Fulcrum, Hammer, Hebrews, Sirloin. You know, I haven't seen the SPG techies. Let me check the map. Oh yeah, they're there. They're way west. Uh, looks like they have given up on them. I don't see them actually. I bet that maybe the Humvees got them. I don't see them anywhere. You know that. That's one thing that's different about these ops, or this op in particular, is normally killing those vehicles is not big of a deal, but any scroungeable ve any vehicle on the map is fair game for the insurgents, so killing every vehicle you see is really important, especially at this point in the game, when any firepower can kind of turn the tables. Yeah, those Humvees did their job for sure. Yeah. Copy that. Looks like Jimmy, Turtle Guy 5, Bunny, they're all pushing... Um, up and around the exfil point just to make sure that no one's already there and they're going to have to occupy and hold out. Squad one, we should probably check that technical to our north. I don't want to take a chance of making too much noise. Well, they just, one one person just suggested maybe they should grab a technical and so Hammer and Hebrew said he didn't want to make too much noise. noise. And now he says they're going to take the this Lodgy. Or maybe not. Yep, they are. So this Humvee is still holding. It's now moving out. And there's a little detachment up here. It looks like a few U.S. troops. They're going to check them out. Pokesmot, Invert, Plan of Action are all up and moving well, they're significantly behind everybody. Um, they're, they're hustling over to the extraction as well. Yeah, those other three. I see them there. Yep. Four guys in this insurgent Salazi truck. 
Oh, they see the crash technical, the blown up one. It's a good dismount right there. It's a good idea. Cameron Hebrews walking up. He is totally unaware that that Humvee is right in front of him. Hey, uh, oh, he's the, turned uh, around. On. On... Oh, Fanta just oh, bandaged him a little bit. Humvee. Oh, oh shit. Humvee. Humvee. Right in the in the Humvee. He's not looking at us. All right, spread out, spread out, spread out. All right, they called the Humvee. So it's these compounds. They're roaming down the road. These compounds right here are where they need to get into, and until they're in there, they're not extracting. This is the final extract point for the U.S., and as you can see, a couple of them are moving over there, but a majority of them are still kind of holding and moving slow um, back to the extract. The Humvee's doing a good job, though, on the road. Oh, we lost, uh, looks like we lost Hammer and Hebrew. Who else is left? Sirloin, CG Fanta, and El Sabrowski are the three that are alive over there. El Sabrowski has been spotted. They are hitting fire. everything around him. Sabrowski's Some... bandaging. INS reinforcements coming up. Fanta spreading. Oh, he went into the compound good on him sirloin staying down Oh, the party caught up. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yep. Fulcrum and, and biggies. And they've actually got another. They've got another lodgy here. If we back up. There's only what is it? Five, two, four, five. Four. There's only four. Five. Yep, five. Five insurgent forces left. U.S. forces. I've already got a couple guys over by the X-Fill. The like seven of them. is holding them off, and the rest of the U.S. forces on foot. You know, it's close. This is a really close one. Yeah, this is a great one. Whoever, who is this coming up the back? CG Fanta is actually almost in the perfect position to spot the U.S. soldiers that are about to collapse in on this compound. I like this Humvee's so, positioning, just holding the holding position. Uh, they're not getting threatened too much by the insurgent forces. Fanta oh, goes down grenade. to the GO. Yep. Beautiful GO. So Browsy's getting shot at. He actually got hit. Uh, I'm not sure if there's Sabrowski. a medic alive on the insurgent side. Uh, there was. It was Fanta. He is no longer alive, so there are no medics. It's just Biggie's Fulcrum and El Sabrowski. Is Sirloin alive over there, or is he down? He is down. Oh boy, there goes Sabrowski. Last two, Fulcrum and Big Yes. Ah, uh, Big Yes, that's his name. Yeah, it's. I was calling it Biggie. <laughs> I believe it's no secret now. Oh, Fulcrum taking shots. Slinging lead. At nothing. Invert and plan of action are still out to the northwest of the compound, looking at the door. Big yes and Fulcrum falling back. They're actually they're collapsing back in on these two. I like it. Yeah, the Humvees pulled in. Humvees on the or bunnies on the south side. Do you want us to come back? Invert and, and plan of action are on the far west. It's Just important to note there's north. there's still two U.S. forces at the extraction, so we've still got it locked down. They know there's no one over there. I think they're zeroing in on these last two.
You know, it was a good job by the insurgent forces holding. It was holding that initial spot. And and I think they would have done a very good job holding it if their command didn't get hit by a almost just a blind fire. Yeah, I do wonder how that well that hold would have gone out because they were doing a great job until then. Yeah, it, they were. Invert is too bad. Invert's pushing up to finish the job here. Yeah, it's uh, unlucky, but. I mean, Big Yes and Fulcrum have only got to kill like six people in a Humvee, so they. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance. Bunny's at the door, lobbing a nade over. A little short. Yeah. But he's moved in. He's at inside the compound now, laying down. This seems to be... Seems to be Bunny's... Strat all the time. He he always lays low, stays sneaky. We always see him at the end. Stay safe. Pulled out another grenade. Yeah, Looks like it was a must have been a smoke grenade. Smoke. Yeah. I'm gonna reload. Let's, uh, let's head They're holding patiently here. It's good because they know INS is the one who has to make a move. Oh, Fulcrum! Fulcrum taking shots. What is he shooting at? Oh, they're turning around on each other. Big yes. Bunny's pushed across now. Used his smoke to conceal his movement. My direct front. I can hear Big Yes and Fulcrum talking to each other. They're uh, talking about covering each other's backs. Want to watch southeast, want to watch the other way. Fulcrum's just looking right into the smoke. Fulcrum saw Bunny. Oh, oh beautiful. Bunny takes down Fulcrum. Good shooting by Bunny. He uh, took a shot. He's bandaging. Back in a minute. Big uh, guess heard it happen. Oh, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie Buddy's, right now. But he's backed into the to that little hole in the wall is basically all he's in. Big Yes wants to push him, but he's got to watch his back as well. He's just pushing through, clearing everything out. Moving. His they're heart's pounding. Now. Yeah. yeah, they're just their neighbors in their little compound. Oh, Bunny's pushing now. Big Yes, what's he doing? Pulls his gun back out. Good oh, trade. the That's trade! Good, good That's trade. It. All right, we got to see a good game flash across the screen pretty soon. Well, that was a confirmed. good round. That lasted a long time. It did. It Almost did. an hour. Good job. It's a 47-minute match. Yeah, the ending is a lot. It starts slow, and then it really picks up and then once the exfil starts to happen it starts to slow down again because you start losing track of where everyone is you gotta be lying to me. yeah it goes oh, from big jimmy pretty calm and collect and organized to just chaotic in a moment yeah good job yeah. by jimmy and uh invert both of them five and four kills for the u.s soldiers good, good job by del nando torres for the insurgents he had four uh and great teamwork that's what, what i like to see the teamwork that was involved there uh alexo's team the insurgents really communicating well. They fell back well, and they held excellently. It's a, it's just too bad they lost their commander. Otherwise, they would have had, had a really good foothold on those compounds. Yeah. And a great job by Xbits guys to come together after they lost their commander, and uh, and actually take down the command and then get out of there, uh, force the insurgents to push on them, and uh, and wreck them. So. That, that was a good round one. It's going to be awesome to see round two. It's exciting to see what they've learned from each other's tactics and and how it'll go.
uh, we'll probably take a five minute break now or so five to ten uh, go to the bathroom get a drink you know do what you got to do um, maybe Penn will play some sweet music for you. Uh, everyone, this is <laughs> Penn. You'll, you're never going to hear him talk because he's running the cameras and telling us what's going on. He's thanks, our boss. Ben. So thanks, Penn. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, round two coming up. We'll switch sides. This time Alexa will be the U.S. The next bit will be Insurgents. Same rules, same setups, everything. Be right back with Operation Nightmare. <laughs> 